Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn about the viewport in the Selenium. So let's begin. Nowadays, most of the applications are responsive in nature. So by responsive means, they will adjust the layout according to the screen size. So in that particular case, we need to test our application on the different screen sizes. And when we talk about automation testing itself, so we are basically talking about the different viewports here. So if I go to the browser here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let me take example of Google here. So let me go to google.com. And so this is the google.com page. And now right click on this one, click on inspect. And here you will see on the right side here, you see this one, just click on this one. So basically, if your application is responsive, you need to test your application on different screen resolution. So you might need to check on iPad, how your application, web application will look like, right? Uh, what would be the mode? So there are different screen resolutions. You see that? If I change from here, you will see there's a different screen resolution coming in. And now, if your application is responsive in nature, you need to test your application on different screen resolutions. Now, let's directly jump into the pie chart here and start writing code and learn how it works. So I simply go to the folder here, create a new file. I am naming it as viewport and this already exists. So let me remove this one from here. And let me create one more file here. Simply go here and I will name it as view. So the first thing is that we need to import this web driver here from Selenium. We need to import web driver. And now the first thing is that let's go with a very simple script. And in the, in the single, uh, simple script, what we need to do is that we will create a driver and let me show you. So driver is equal to webdriver dot chrome and now we need to visit the website so driver dot get and inside that we need to pass a url so let me copy this url from here and let me go back here and provide this one okay and now if i ex execute this one so see what happens. So it will open the browser and in the browser, it will open the Chrome. And here you see that there was a specific screen size. So in the Selenium, we have one method, web driver method, which is known as set window size. So for example, driver dot set window size. And here we need to provide width and height. So let's suppose if I need to give some specific resolution like uh, let me go with seven eight six comma so first one is the width the second one would be height here so i'm changing some width and height here and after this uh, let me add some sleep here time dot sleep so that we can see the difference here once it will change so now uh, let's run this one and see what happens here so it's open here and now you see that the screen size got changed. Now, now there is a one size we can provide here in the this particular method driver dot set window. But you might to test this on the multiple different screen sizes or the viewports. So how you can do this? So simply from here, I will create one array where I will define all the viewports. Okay, so viewports is equal to so the a array, and here you know that we need to provide the two things here. We need to provide the height and the width. So I will go with the bracket. So I'm giving the first resolution like 24, 7, 6, 8. So this is our first resolution, then comma, and let me give the 7, 8, 6, and let me reverse this resolution 10 24 
and now let me go with some mobile size uh, resolution here and here let me give 375.667 so i give it the three different screen resolutions or the viewports and now what i do is that i after opening this one for this part i will do some changes here now you see that we have three different screen resolutions even we can go with the more here and it's 414 this one and let me go here so 414 comma and it's 896 so 896 now we have these uh, v ports or different skin sizes uh, not defined here in this particular array and from array we need every value every time okay so what i'll do is that i will iterate through this one but i will do this in the try and cache mechanism okay and now i will start with a loop here for i'm giving width comma height because we have two values here width comma height in viewports and now this loop will inside this loop i will be writing driver dot set window size and here i will be passing width comma height okay and that's it and simply i am giving here time dot sleep so that uh, when it changes the screen size we can actually see it and now i will finally what i will say finally comma then driver dot close so basically uh we are simply you know running this into try and final and we are just looping through this array and we are saying that the first value you will get is the width the second value you will get from here is the height and it's looping in this particular viewports and so as soon as uh, it's getting the value because loop will continue and there is the condition will be false here and every time we'll get some width some height here which we are passing here instead of the hard coded value which we did uh, just right now so here uh, now we are passing the values from here so let's run this one and see what happens so again it will open the browser it will change the first one the second one the third one and i have put some delay between the changes so so that you can see that so it will keep you know changing after every time so you need to change the viewports and you can write the code after this one so if you have some validations so you can have validations here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial